Alright, what's going on everybody? So you already know I had to bring back the Axie Bow today. It's been a very long time since I've played this deck. Um, and you would be surprised how well it pairs with Expo. So we're going to be trying to get some wins here today. He's going to go for the Miner in the other lane. Kind of bad timing since I did just use my Knights. Luckily, I've got the uh, Log. I decided I was debating between... Um, taking the log with me or taking goblins just for like some extra dps and like another troop to be on top of things um but i decided on doing the log and we're gonna see if it doesn't work out i can always switch it but we'll see if um i made the right decision so i'm just gonna go xe here xe gets so much value because it's just really slow and stays on the board for such a long time kind of similar to the bowler but in a, a different way so i catch him going pump at the exact same time as i expo this is actually really good um, i'm gonna go knight on zero because we know oh no wait kill the miner please nice knight's gonna take care of that and then it's gonna be a connection on tower he does have the arrows um he might go i don't know i might just log the elixir collector yeah i think i'm just gonna log the elixir collector i know this looks kind of weird since there is a goblin gang coming down my bridge um but i need to take out these pumps i definitely cannot fall behind next time he pumps um i'm going to have to fireball and it looks like he's probably playing three musketeers if he's running this kind of bait deck so this should get pretty interesting he's gonna pump right about there it is um so we'll just fireball i'm guessing he's gonna be just three m in the back since i fireballed um but you know we have evo knight in rotation so i think this should be a pretty easy defense i don't know we'll have to see this could go either way i'm gonna drop the cannon in the center first if i play my xc2 early on then it will just kind of walk forward too much and then the musketeers will be able to take it out before it really does anything so i'm gonna go xc right now um let's see i'm gonna go log on top of all this and then i'm actually gonna go knight too i know it's a lot of elixir but i'm gonna take some damage on the left side i'd rather take damage on the left and completely risk losing my tower on the right side there because i knew he, those musketeers were gonna shred my xe if i didn't do that um so we're gonna get some decent ship from this xe if he doesn't defend it nice i'm just gonna go cannon over here on the right side he's gonna pump up again probably yeah we'll just fireball that once again I don't know, I, I'm not really scared of him pushing because I feel like XE is pretty much unkillable on my end. I'm actually going to do something a little aggressive and go Expo on the left side here. I know you're like, why would you Expo um, when he has three Musketeers on the board? Well, I want to force out his units on the left so he can't just um, like spam like he's doing now anyways. So I think we can defend this as long as... Okay, wait, I think I need to fireball this still. That's kind of a bad fireball, but... Oh, really? Wait, never mind. Goaded fireball. I, <laughs> I didn't really expect to get the connection with that, but it ended up working out really well. He's going to pump. I'm just going to full send the bridge, and hopefully we get a tornado to pull something out of range. And there it is. Please don't play anything. Nice. GG's. Too easy. Good start to the video. I mean, it's just too easy. Um, I mean, he should have seen that coming, but I also think he was low on elixir because he played the pump and then like pretty much immediately had to go knight. So I'm just going to fireball to take the tower and that's going to be the first win of the video. Hopefully we can get the 12 wins in this video, but I mean, uh, you never know. I'm currently at seven and one or eight and one. As you guys know, the season is ending in a couple of days. So, um, I mean, by the time I'm posting this, it's two days exactly probably from then. I'm going to be pretty busy on Saturday, like tomorrow, I guess, because today's Friday when I'm recording this. Um, I'm going to be pretty busy on Saturday, so I don't know if I'll be pushing that much. I might just wake up in the morning and start and like record like an hour long video um, of just me pushing Ice Bow, no matter how high I get, how much tilt, how, how tilted I get, and just kind of post that entire length of the video i don't know how long it would be it would probably definitely be a long time probably the longest video i've done in a, quite some time um so if you are interested in, th in that then make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video but we'll have to see what happens i'm just gonna go for the ice spirit the bridge and see what this guy's running he's got ram rider interesting i do not see that card very often honestly um anymore also i did make a tiktok um if anybody wants to go follow i don't really i don't know i don't post on it that much um but i did make one just because everyone was like you need to make a tiktok so i did um and yeah you, i'll leave it in the description if you guys want to follow if not like it doesn't really bother me that much it's not like a massive deal but you never know so i'm just gonna go for Ooh, let's see i'm not gonna fireball this i'm gonna actually go defensive expo i know it seems a little weird but i do kind of want to see yeah i was kind of expecting him to either Number one, go for the Mega Knight in the back because I was, was I thought he had Mega Knight, but I wasn't like 100% sure. 
Um, or number two, just play his spell, which I don't know what it is, so I would love to find out. Um, he's going to pop the ability. Very interesting ability from this guy. Hold up. This actually could get a little ugly. He's definitely going to get damaged since I don't really have the best response to the Mega Knight in hand. Um, oh, wow. That's very aggressive evil archers from this guy, but I'm just going to log. Going to take a little bit of damage from that Ram Rider, but not the end of the world. This is going to be tough, though. I don't know if it's going to be very easy for me to break through since he has so many, like, tanky units. Um... But we will have to see. I'm just going to keep cycling my Xyz in the back, play it slow. I'm actually going to go left lane because I don't want to play into um, the same lane he's going. Fisherman, I hate the Fisherman. It's just so annoying to face but when you have cards like Knight and stuff. Um, and Xyz, they just keep getting yanked in. He's going to go for the Poison. Okay, so now we know his spell. I'm just going to go for the Knight on top of his Mega Knight. It's a really easy counter there. And then I'm going to log on the left side and then probably get another Xyz down. Um, for the fisherman, I don't think, how, wait, what? Um, that was kind of weird, oh well. My Xe is gonna not take out the little prince either, that's what we love to see. And I have to play my knight on the stupid guardian because I'm bad at this game, so this is not going well at all. Um, I don't want to go expo on offense because it's kind of just asking him to play a mega knight, I guess. So I'm gonna cycle my Xe in the back once again here on the left side. Try and just keep playing it pretty slow. I am just gonna fireball the, actually, should I fireball that? I don't know, I, I want to, but at the same time, like, do I really need to? Eh, I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna wait for it to come across the bridge, um, go for a log, I think. Uh, wait, what did my, did you guys see my Xe right there? What in the world was that? It, like, threw backwards at literal air, like, literally nothing was there. Um, that kind of sucks, but <laughs> I've never seen that before. I'm gonna fireball these archers, please hit both of them. Okay, we're good. Holy cow, that was actually way too close. Xe on tower, oh my goodness, Xe on tower. Okay, wait, 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 that doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I get some good damage, but it's not like... Oh, that's not good. Please shoot. Xe? No, that was close. Ah, uh, and this little prince is going to ruin my day. I can already tell, so I'm just going to go cannon. Oh my goodness, this is bad. I shouldn't have played so much into the same lane. I need to still go left side. I don't know what I'm doing, but... I'm just going to go ahead and cycle. Okay, going to have to fireball that and then just let my ice spirit jump. Go for the knight as well to, to DPS down on that ram rider. And yeah, we're into Triple Elixir. I don't have Rocket, though, so I can't really spell Cycle that much. I am going to have to play Defensive to lead to my next Expo. So I'm just going to get the XE down in the back and mute up. And you already know, when I mute up, I don't lose. Like, there's no... I'm not losing the game when I mute up. You guys know that by now. So I'm just going to take a Fireball on a Fisherman. Is that aggressive? Yeah, but, like, I need to start being a little bit aggressive. So I'm just going to go for the Log. Should kill the Fisher. And then also push this Ram Rider back for a second. I'm going to Expo on the left side since we have the Expo already down. Like the first one, um, 30 seconds left here. Wait, is that? Oh my goodness, that would have locked on, I think, if he didn't play that Ram Rider. Um, but I'm just going to go log. 25 seconds left, Ice Spirit, to just kind of hold everything at the bridge. And 20 seconds left, I'm going to... What do I do? I think I just go for the Fireball Cycle and then try and defend as best I can. Going to go Nato plus Log as well for the extra damage. I'm pretty sure he can't get back to another Poison, so we should win this game if I just go for the Fireball. That's going to be GG's. Poison is not going to come down in time from him, and that's going to be um, an actual victory. I kind of got scared there for a second, but I think we just kind of baited out enough Elixir from him on the left side to where he couldn't really just continue to play Poisons on my tower. Um, so that ended up working out pretty good. I don't know, that matchup was very interesting, but we'll take that victory. Okay, I know this guy's pretty good at the game, so this is going to be a struggle, uh, but you know what? I believe in the Xe bow. I mean, if what other cards do you want me to use with Expo? Like, drop it in the comments, and if I, if I see one more Goblin Barrel clone, bro, I'm not running Goblin Barrel clone with Expo. That's just not going to work. <laughs> I swear the same guy comments it on, like, every video. It's so funny. Um, I'm actually kidding. Like, it is a funny comment. I like reading it. Um... But I swear, without fail, I don't know how many days in a row, it's just like, you'd be top ladder or top 10 or something if you were ran Goblin Barrel Cologne, and I'm like, bruh, I'm actually just getting trolled in my own comments, but anyways, it looks like we're playing Bowler, hmm, I could bring back some Bully Bow, honestly, I haven't played that in quite some time, and Bowler's one of the best cards in the entire meta, um, I think it has been one of the best cards for a few metas now, not like, not like the best card, but it's solid for a few metas now, so this should be pretty... You know, it would be pretty solid if I did run that deck. But I'm just going to cycle my knight in the back. I don't know what I would run with it. Probably something similar to this. I don't need a building, though, if I am running Bowler, because it kind of is the same thing um, in a lot of matchups. So he's probably got lightning, right? So I'm just going to freeze and then pull this up. He is going to lightning. That's fine. Um, do I need to... That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I should have logged. I didn't know if I needed to, because I thought the XE would take it out. But it really doesn't do a lot of damage, like high DPS. 
if I'm honest. So I think I'm just going to try and go Expo and Evo Knight on zero. He's going to bowler, right? Yep, nice. Okay, we do catch that. Please don't NATO. Oh, bruh. I hate that. Um, I think I can log it out of range, maybe. I don't know. Is that out of range? I think it was, but the barbell is going to kill my Expo anyway, so kind of pointless. If I, if I was, like, really quick with my reaction speed and logged right away, then I could have done something. Um... Yeah, this is not not looking good, so I'm just going to eat this night damage, I think. I don't want to play an Xe on that, because I'd be actually zero elixir. And yeah, this should be... I mean, this matchup's going to be tough. E-Giants, we do have the cannon, thankfully, but... I mean, realistically, is it going to save me? I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm going to need to get carried by the Xe here. Just going to fireball to get my rotation kind of fixed. Okay, let's see. So he is going to bowler. I think I'll just go knight in the back here, log to kill that little prince before any guardian cheese comes out. Oh, okay, interesting play by him. I don't know about that one. Um, I mean, that's fine with me. He's probably going to Lightning, so I'm just going to be a little bit patient here and then go XE right now. And, yeah, we're fine with that. I'm going like, to probably go... Wow, that was a really bad NATO by him, I'm going to be honest. Going to go for the Expo on the bridge. Don't think he has enough for E-Giant right now. Oh, I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, my goodness, it's too easy. He just used Lightning as well, so I think we can actually win the game if I predict the bridge here. Going to go for the Ice Spirit, then log now, please? Oh, I'm so, yes, just goaded gameplay. Um, that's maybe not good game quite yet, since we do have the Fireball, not the Rocket, but I think that's like two Fireballs in one log or something um, to win the game. He's going to hit us with a good game, though. Let's see if he gives up. He is going to Lightning my King Tower, so we're going to be E-Giant. Wow. I mean, the not even Prediction Natos, just the Reactive Natos. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, my goodness, Predicted. Uh, never mind. I'm predicting this guy out of his mind. That was actually, like, the luckiest thing ever. Um, I think he was going to try and cheese me and still play the game. No pressure or anything, but currently 11 in 2. By the way, that is my biggest pet peeve ever whenever people, like, they, they give up, right? They throw a spell on your tower, and then you start just placing cards at the bridge to make the game end, and they just defend, or they just go opposite lane and try and take your other tower. I'm like, bro, you guys are the lowest of low when it comes to, like, in this game, because, dude, if you're gonna give up, just give up and close the app. Why are you sitting here and trying to be like, oh, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in when he has no elixir because I'm cool like that. Like, bro, come on, man. It's just the cringiest thing ever. Um, so that's, wow, where in the world is my Xe when I need it? Oh, like, what do I do here? Um, oh, I missed the tower. <laughs> I was trying to hit the tower, but I kind of just was taking nine and a half business days to throw my fireball, so that was my bad. Um, doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, what is this deck? Okay, gonna go cannon, and we can actually activate the king tower if he doesn't do anything else, so I know it's gonna be a pretty expensive activation, but I'm gonna go for it. Could save me this game, like really could win me the game. King tower activation is very important in most matchups, especially when they have... Um, a card that's like gonna get to your tower pretty often like the goblin giants or get around your tower at least So let's see. He's got the bowler just like anyone else right now. I'm not surprised about that We just need to figure out what he's running for a spell And then we should be chilling. So I think I'm just gonna go for the knights behind on top of this bowler and Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm just gonna go ice spirit behind this. He's got the mother witch I think we just fireball that off the map right away. Okay. He is gonna get one piglet from from the mother witch um, but I think we just log that. It's really important that I don't take much damage, especially if this guy's running lightning, because it's going to be really, really hard to catch up if I go down. Um, let's see, I might just wait for him. I don't really... Okay, he's going to rage, so I guess I'll drop Xe in the back. I'm not too scared of him punishing me, because you've already seen his win condition, so... Ooh. Oh, see, like, it's so tempting to just go Expo, Knight, other lane, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play patiently, go for my Evo Knight in the back, try and be the uh, the patient one in this matchup, even though I love to be aggressive. I'm going to go Cannon right here in the center, and that E-Drag is going to be the death of me. Oh my goodness, alright, that's fine. We have another Xe. Um, I'm going to drop that bad boy down right now. Should hit this E-Drag, and then, okay, he is going to NATO, that's fine. Um, don't tell me, oh, that's on my tower, you're lying. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go Ice Spirit here in the bridge just to make sure this bowler dies and try and set up for an expo on offense this is actually a really good setup i'm gonna fireball this mother witch i think i hit it right please don't tell me i missed that okay that would have been really awkward he's gonna have to fireball or play his spell probably um does he even have a fireball i can't remember i'm just gonna go for the log i don't think he's played a spell yet wait we win the game ice spirit plus plus nato is gonna take out those evil bats and he just used rage does he not have another spell i don't think he does um, so he's gonna have to go bowler on zero. That's a really good lock on. I think we're gonna get this 12 win, guys. First try with Xebo. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Um, 
Let's see, I'm just gonna go offensive bow because I think he's hurting for elixir. I'm probably up at least four or five. So I'm just gonna drop this evil knight immediately and then I have my fireball ready. I'm gonna fireball the, mo the yes, mother witch. I thought that was a night witch for some reason. And then log this goblin giant. Oh, he's dead. I can nato this on zero and pull the mini pekka up. X, he's gonna hit that piglet and that's GG. He has no ground units in cycle. That's gonna do it. Let's freaking go. 12 wins, first try with X evil. I mean, you don't see that every day. Definitely a really fun deck. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and open the 12 wins chest just because I know people will get triggered if I get 12 wins and then don't hit the, like, open the chest. Um, so I'll just spam through this, but yeah, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for tomorrow's because it's going to be a very long, um, ice spell push. Oh, hold up. Give me, like, something I don't have max, please. Okay, nice. I actually need a golden knight, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and peace.